as you have seen, a new pair of socks. So let me show you the socks, show you the yarn, and then let's chit chat for a bit. As you can see, I finished socks, and these are too big for these sock blockers, so straight away I tell you it is a bigger size. If you're here and you're watching, and you're not a knitter, but you would want to get yourself a pair of socks, stay tuned because there's always a video once per month, and I'm knitting a certain size, so hopefully it will fit you or someone close to you. But then we have John Button and we have membership, and in the level one, I'm knitting a pair of socks. Also, different sizes sometimes at the moment i'm sticking to one and level two i'm also knitting a pair of socks now if you are a knitter or you want to be a knitter there are two tutorials i'm going to link them down below so check it mentioned it is step by step it's literally like knitting with me if you have any questions in regards to that just please comment under that video and i'll try to help you uh, and these were knitted this way toe up I knitted one at a time because I use nine inch circular needles, which I like, but there's other video that you can go with magic loops. So one set of longer needles. And this is what I'm talking about. If you don't know, this is circular knitting needle and you need with a longer cable. If you're knitting two at a time, you need uh, 100 centimeters, which is 40 inches. These actually, I have 80 centimeters, which is 32 inches because I know I'll be knitting only one time. So I have a few pairs that I'm not using. So maybe I will kind of give a shout out on Instagram on my stories one day. Maybe someone will want to grab it for like, you know, thrift one, cheaper price, something like that. Because that's fingering weight yarn, I use US size one, 2.25 millimeter needles, and I'm knitted a certain size. So I have 32 stitches per, four inches, so eight stitches per one inch. And over here, I increased to 64 stitches. So, and then I just continue with the with the sock until I reach a 70, 70 round, 17th round. Over here, I marked it for the heel and I did 50. And then I did one round with the contrast color and I did 14 rounds of one by one ribbing, finishing with tubular bind up. If you're interested how to do toe only or only heel after thought heel, or even tubular bind up, I have separate videos on this channel, so check it out. Just write down knitting I love, tubular bind up, and I should pop it. So I'm saying that because in case I would want to knit a pair of socks for the same person and it will fit them, I will just go back to this video and watch it. So I've knitted these socks for my family members and I'm thinking I won't be leaving them until Christmas or anything like that. I think once I have them, I post them straight away to a person that I have in mind because I know they enjoy wearing them and they wear them through all the seasons and waiting for the seasons for another whatever that month we have still to December. It's kind of, I don't know, I know I'm going to have a pressure probably afterwards that I don't have anything for them, but to be honest, I'm not meeting th that many people face to face during the Christmas. So uh, what I hear so far, anytime who puts uh, socks that I've knitted and I gift it to them, they think of me. So any birthday and every Christmas or anything you celebrate, that that's basically what it would be. So I'm happy I'm going to probably pack it today and hopefully to have it shipped tomorrow. And a chit chat time. Um, I think because I've been posting socks all the time, people have a tendency to think that I'm knitting very, I'm a fast knitter and uh, you know, I can pop in socks in three days, let's say that way, maybe not this size, but yeah. Um, and it's, it got me thinking, maybe I will tell you how long it takes me to knit socks. So basically I measured uh, that 20, 28, I think rounds takes me about an hour to do and uh, so I counted how many rounds I had to do for sock not for this sock for my standard 56 stitches sock um, and it's figured out that for one sock I need approximately five and a half hour and another one the same so 11 hours like seriously sitting and knitting and not even taking 
a sip of tea. So 11 hours it takes me to knit a pair of socks. Those that are for giveaways on this channel, so that's a lot. And that's probably, and probably that's why it's very hard for me to see that I would knit socks for uh, someone else because if I had to count the minimum wage per hour and then taxes on the top of that and shipping and then the materials and also sometimes you need to get those materials so that's also the, the shipping for those materials has to be also included in price of the product and if you haven't done calculations like that it's pretty tough roughly how much would i have to charge to feel comfortable <laughs> doing it as in making a, um, a business out of it it will be very expensive so I'm just saying that because I'm hearing things that I could maybe start a business like that. And because it is March 2021 and Ireland is in the full lockdown, I can't go to work. So that's that. Therefore, I think knitting two, three pairs in a month, I will be able to do that. And then if you support me by pressing the join button on this channel and picking up the level, uh, you will have access not only to that, to every month giveaway, but to annual pattern discount code and some extra content which will be my vlogs which i'm going to keep for members only and that way i feel kind of more in the safe space if that makes sense let me know your thoughts and down below and i hope you enjoy watching my channel if you haven't subscribed yet do and until the next one bye over here you can see the leftovers that i have those two because i got them i make them to be matchy matchy if you don't know how to do it I will check this video on the screen and this is the yarn that I used, opal, fresh and juicy and the colour of here is, is this one and then I use regia and here is the colour. I got this yarn from a friend as a leftover and this one I, I think I got from Distache.